Okay, today I'm going to do a little trial with the LabBot Virtual Lab uh, just to see how good this interface is for running through some of the experiments that they do we do in machines. Um, uh, basically you have to have, uh, you can download the software for free from the LabVault website um, and then you need to have either a USB dongle or a network dongle to um, make sure that the, it's uh, been paid for basically. And I'll just check that is right now. Okay in Australia we've got 240 volts um, sometimes the uh, rendering takes up a lot of CPU processing um, so we can click on hardware acceleration and you can also reduce the uh, level of detail here just to try and speed things up yep so I'll just restart that again Okay, um, so that should operate a lot faster now. Uh, I'll just check the security as well. Options, security device, uh, that should be network. Okay, so hopefully that's worked out. Um, now I've got to drop in some components. Dyno. Uh, we might do DC motor first. Uh, you can get them off this list here as well. Uh, power supply. Ah, okay. So I'll just save that. It could be that uh, the security device is only accessible off the student subnet and not the staff subnet, which is fine. It uh, just means I'll have to uh, make the next part of this video um, off one of the student computers. But I can still set everything else up for the experiment. Data acquisition. And let's put some loads in here. Um synchronizing module. So I'm basically setting up the same way we have in the actual lab. File, save as. lab okay DC motor and you can zoom in on that window so just zoom in and I'm going to reduce that pointer right click lower front panels join the belt together okay and uh, that's as far as I can go for now 
Uh, I can actually make some hook up everything. Okay, I've got uh, figure 2 3 1 separately excited DC generator coupled to the prime mover. <coughs> no electrical load. So, to get this right. Just make all the connections. Talk to talk, speed to speed, and then the common. And it's really pretty much wired up exactly how the actual Lab Vault 8006 system is wired up. Mm, we got the 24 volt AC power. And okay, I'm going to switch this to Prime Mover. One and two goes to voltage. <laughs> and fixed DC supply goes through I2. Five, six goes to seven, <coughs> seven, eight, and then return. Okay. Now, won't let me turn everything on. I'm going to turn it on, but I can't take any measurements because uh. It's not detecting the security device. Um, but that's so I've taken as far as I can get there. <coughs> but when I've got that security device attached, then I will be able to get all this running. <coughs> so I'll just leave it there. <coughs>